Yeah, what's up? Why aren't you out yet? I hope you didn't forget about the meeting. Oh, of course not. I noted it down on my phone. I was concerned you were stuck in front of the mirror, admiring your new tattoo. Yeah, my bicep's still hurting. That's impossible considering you don't have any. <laughs> oh, whoa. Flexing your paintbrush arm, aren't you? Yep, the physical part of painting is the most demanding. Which tattoo did you get? I went with the traditional Baltic design. Show me, show me, show me! <laughs> okay, fine. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, well, you designed it. And I was sure it would look perfect on you. Oh, someone's at the door. I gotta go. Oh, before you go, my printer was dead, so I sent you the flyers. Flyers? Yeah. I made a few designs for Alfred. Couldn't choose which one was the best. And do you want me, a programmer, to make an art choice for you? Yeah, you know, I need a different perspective. I'm sure you can make a quick and logical decision, right? Choosing computer specs? Yes. Flyers? Ugh. Okay, really need to go. See you at the Bean. Please hurry up. Alfred's gonna be here soon. Don't forget the flyers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye. Hello? Just look at all of these amazing ideas being thrown away. Mail delivery. A letter for you, miss. Thank you. Have a nice day. Dear Miss Melda, writing to inform you, sorry for your loss. Huh? The death of your grandfather, Rokas Kovas. Oh. Uh, according to the will of the deceased, you've inherited the house and the belongings in it? Huh. Address in Lithuania. Please arrive before the mentioned date. If you fail to sign the certificate, the house will be sold at an auction? That's just two weeks away. <sighs> wow. Okay, this is too much. I need to go meet Dana. I'll deal with this later. The one and only way to get around Chicago. I mean, the only one that I can afford. It's not old, it's vintage. This one looks fine. Dana. Finally! What took you so long? Alfred's gonna be here any minute. Well, for starters, my grandfather died. Oh, f crap. I'm so sorry. Are you okay? I'm not bothered. I barely knew him. However, I did inherit his house. Oh. Congrats, I guess. But the house is in Lithuania. Move aware now? <laughs> Lithuania? Europe? 
parents are from there? I know, I'm just messing with you. You know that annoys me. I wouldn't do it otherwise. <sighs> so, yeah, I own a house now. However, if I don't go there to claim it, in two weeks it's going to be sold at an auction. So, it seems you're talking to a future former owner of a house. Wait, you mean you're not going there? care about it. Hold on, hold on. You're given a house for free and you're too lazy to take it? Just go there and sell it. With what money would I travel? I'll figure it out. In two weeks? Hmm. Listen, I know it's going to be a pain talking to him, but if Alfred agrees to finance my exhibition, then perhaps I could lend you a part of my advance for the plane ticket. Then once you've sold the house, you give it back. Does that sound okay? Sounds reasonable. Okay. What do I have to do? Just check that everything's ready for him. Make him feel comfortable and make sure nothing goes wrong. Oh, and Melda, you know what they say. Don't be proactive, be reactive. Do they say that? I just said that. <laughs> Fine. Let's do it. What are you playing? It's blues, girl. How's it going? On a day like this, all that matters is the flow of music. How's it going? On a day like this, all that matters is the flow of music. Never mind. The only birds that actually enjoy city life. Hi! Hello, miss! Could I interest you in some of my special lemonade? What's so special about it? It's the perfect combination of sweet and sour. The most refreshing drink you've ever tasted. What's your lemonade made of? Well, it's made from water, ice, sugar, and a particular type of lemon. Okay, all right then. I need to get some cash first. 